Hello, Brawler Net. Welcome to Brawl Theory, the show for brawl nerds like myself who are trying to uncover the truth behind Brawl Stars. And you are going to want to pay close attention because there is a whole lot of truth to uncover. Who created the WKBRL stream? What or who is spewed? How is the investor video in Brawl Talk significant? Who is at the head of all of the evil happening at Star Park? What can you do to keep yourself informed and support the fight against Star Park? It's as easy as subscribing and using Kokaris in the Brawl Stars shop. But before we answer any of the other questions, we need to review some history. On February 8th of 2020, a Brawl Stars community member named Gamba released a Reddit post showing various hints that Brawl Stars was actually taking place in a theme park. I did a whole Brawl Theory video talking about it and even included a lot more evidence backing up Gamba's claims. Two months later, on April 19th, the WKBRL live stream started streaming on YouTube. The stream started leaking early information regarding Brawl Stars' animations, updates, and various other things, but it wasn't exactly clear who was producing the stream or why they were streaming it. Four months later, on August 20th, people started noticing a 8-Bit acting weird in Brawl Stars. By tapping on him eight times, you could access 8-Bit's core memories and play through three minigames that told the story of 8-Bit learning who and what he is. Once again, I did an entire Brawl Theory video talking about it here, and you'll want to watch it if you haven't already. A couple of weeks later, on September 1st, Gamba, the same person who first showed hints of the setting of Brawl Stars being a theme park, received a mysterious package with a laptop in it and a note that said, you are onto something. On that laptop was a web link to Star Park Park.biz, an official worldwide website for collections and memories of Star Park. The website was rather cryptic and revealed lots of evidence further proving that Brawl Stars takes place in a theme park, but it also suggests that the park had a very dark past. Once again, I did another Brawl Theory video covering the contents of the site, and I theorized a very devious plot that was heavily confirmed later on. But on that same day, a very unique audio clip was played on the WKBRL live stream. The following announcement the audio clip was a cease and desist order directed to Ray from SP Corporation, also known as Star Park Corporation. Ray had been diligently covering everything happening on the WKBRL stream on his YouTube channel, and he shared a lot of speculations that apparently Star Park Corporation did not want to be shared. And so they gave him the warning to stop immediately. A few days later, on the 4th of September, something changed on the WKBRL stream. The stream's audio cut out for a bit, and a bottle of Max Energy Drink suddenly appeared next to the charm that Pam and Nani wear around their neck and wrist. And from that point on, the stream kicked it into high gear, with very little break between audio clips. A lot of the clips were things that we had already heard, but a bunch of new clips started showing up as well, most of which were warnings to various people throughout the Girl Stars community who, just like Ray, have been speculating about Star Park and WKBRL. Lex even got a warning specifically telling him to be quiet and mind his own business. The next day on September 5th, a lot of crazy stuff happened. Several creators, including myself, were sent a package with various items from Star Park in them. A lot of creators received a Star Park trading card, and the backs of them acted as pieces of a puzzle, which you can see here is actually mostly complete. Now, out of all the packages, there were a lot of similarities, but there were three unique items that I think were clue keys to solving the truth behind Brawl Stars' secrets. The first clue was a blueprint version of Brawltopia and Brawl Stars Land that was sent to me. The second clue was a snow tell robe and slipper set that was sent to Lex, but more importantly was the postcard signed by the general manager of the snow tell, Corbin Pelto. And the third clue was a roll of stickers sent to Ray with the letters S-P-U-D-E on them. I'm going to be talking about why all of these clues are very important later on in this video. But Brawl Stars creators weren't the only ones releasing content on Star Park. Beyond the Guitar and Dragon Force did covers of the Star Park theme song. Bill Oakley did a review of the Frozen TV rations that you could find from Star Park. Video Game Meals made spaghetti on a stick. The do-it-yourself designer created a dress using fabric from Star Park. Nuak built a replica of the Dyna Coaster in Minecraft. Ryan Thomas Monahan created a model of the Baggage Blaster. Later on that same day, something crazy happened on the WKBRL stream. The Max Energy Drink spilled all over the electronic and a voice appeared over the radio. As you guys could hear, the voice goes away as quickly as it came in, but about 40 minutes later, the same person goes into a crazy monologue for almost 25 minutes, and it is full of references to Brawl Stars and Star Park, and it is clear that something is going wrong. Time. 
I snuck in here. We don't have enough time to talk about everything that happened at that speech. That could be a whole other video, but I will discuss some important parts in this video. What you need to hear right now is the very end. I'm ready for it. Okay, now they're covered in for real. Now, get on truth boots. Now. now. Remember my truth, I said. Clearly, whoever was trying to share this information got in trouble for sharing too much, and for whatever reason, the lights shut off and alarms started blaring. The next day on September 6th, several things were added to the StarPark.biz website. Most of the items were references to the items that several community members got, like the trading cards or the penguin pull toy. But a countdown timer also appeared on the site, and when it first appeared, we didn't know what was going to happen when it reached zero, but we later found out that it would reach zero when Brawl Talk was was supposed to release on YouTube. And as we all know, something big happened in Brawl Talk. On September 7th, a Brawl Talk was released that I am sure everyone remembers. Glitches started appearing in the Brawl Talk that became more and more apparent, and eventually, Brawl Talk completely broke down, and we all got to watch what I'm gonna call the investor video. Now there are way too many details, easter eggs, and clues in the investor video for me to cover in this video alone, but I'm going to be talking about some important parts that you need to know about them and what the purpose of the investor video was. But while almost everyone saw the investor video, a lot of people did not notice the fact that starpark.biz's website was getting updated. Well, everyone was being distracted by Brawl Talk. Tons of new images were uploaded to the site filled with clues that help unravel a lot of mysteries regarding Brawl Stars and Star Park. Clues that reveal the truth behind Star Park's evil plan. The last piece of history that you need to know is what happened about 10 hours after the investor video was hacked into Brawl Talk. Back on the WKBRL stream, the lights turned back on and the sirens are replaced with This is Normal on repeat. The necklace from Pam and Max energy drink were gone, and instead there were some frozen TV rations, a spaghetti on the stick wrapper, and a single star part trading card with Spike on it. Now I'm recording this video almost three weeks after this switch, and nothing has changed since then. It's been on repeat the entire time, and this is very significant. I'm gonna talk about why soon. Before we cover what we don't know, we need to quickly recap what we do know. Star Park is an old amusement park that was shut down in the early 70s. To the general public, it was a place to go and have some fun, but to anyone who was paying close attention, it was clear that something really fishy was going on. It's pretty obvious that they were experimenting with mind control, mutation of human DNA with toxic chemicals, the creation of weaponized robotics, and a whole lot of other sketchy stuff. Eventually, something terrible happened that was big enough that Star Park Corporation was forced to shut down the park. We also know that someone is trying to reveal the truth behind Star Park's past, and I have a pretty good theory as to why and what they're trying to reveal. But before we can talk about why and what, we need to talk about who is trying to tell us the truth. Their name? is spewed. If you pay close attention while you're watching the investor video, you'll actually notice some spewed stickers throughout it. There are two right here on this desk, another on the baggage blaster cart, and there's also one on this cart as well. The final one that we find in the video is on the control console here. Clearly, spewed is important, but who is spewed? One of the most recent additions to the Star Park website is a community poster. It says, Star Park employees on strike. Please respect our picket line. And then it has BRL dash SPU dash DE mascot union. You'll notice the BRL, which I believe is a reference to the BRL in WKBRL, and we'll also see that SPU in spewed being separated from the DE. SPU DE or Star Park Union of Distressed Employees. It's pretty clear to me that Spewed is a union of employees who work at Star Park and are trying to send us a hidden message. I don't think that it's only limited to mascots. I believe that there are rogue Spewed members who currently work at Supercell and are trying to tell us the truth of what is going on. The proof is that Gamba was sent a laptop leading us to the StarPark.biz website by somebody at Supercell. Yet. Nobody is officially willing to comment on it individually or even on the official Brawl Stars social pages. I think that they also recruited Ray to join Spewed when they sent him a roll of stickers. I think it was Spewed who linked the 8-bit minigame into Brawl Stars so that we could find it and discover who he really was and a little bit more about his past and the past of Star Park. And I think that they put the Star Park crowns throughout the maps of the game so that we would know something was up. I think Spewed is responsible for creating the WKBRL stream and they're sending 
hidden messages through various community members. And the warnings that they're giving the people are their way of saying, Star Park executives have a hit put out on you and you need to be very careful. I think the Spewed is responsible for sending community members, including me, packages with clues in them to solve an important puzzle. Why else would Supercell pay thousands of dollars on sponsorships and then not do anything to try and bring attention to those sponsorships? I think it's because Spewed is doing all this behind the backs of those who are in charge of Star Park, the Star Park executives. And even though I have no memory of Spewed, I think I was a member or am a member or something like that. You may remember the blueprints of Brawl Stars land that was sent to me, right? In the legend of it, the scale is completely messed up, right? But if you read the scale like dashes and dots from Morse code, it spells out KT, which means Kairos time. When I first received the map, I thought, you know what, maybe it makes sense that they would do this as a joke to be like the architect is hiding his signature in his work or something like that. But it wasn't until the investor video was released that I had proof that that's exactly what happened. If you look at this clip, you'll notice an architect working on blueprints for the finished design of Star Park. On the wall are various revisions of the Star Park map, and you'll notice that this one is the exact blueprint that was sent to me. That's creepy, but what's even creepier is the architect. Who does that look like to you? Well, what about now? Maybe I should shave, make it a little bit easier for you guys. I am the architect in that video where I was. What? I must have been brainwashed, right? Because I do not remember anything about Star Park. More information on exactly what that means in a future video. But what is Spewed's purpose? Well, I think it's a lot bigger than just trying to ensure better wages in working environments. I think they're trying to warn us. That is the whole reason they created the WKBRL stream. You'll recall the BRL on the Spewed Union poster, which is a sure reference of the WKBRL stream. But that's not the only reference to WKBRL. Let's take another listen to the end of the WKBRL monologue. I'm ready for it. <laughs> Now what I hear is the monologuer being caught for sharing things that he knows and as soon as they catch him, alarms start going crazy and the lights get shut off almost as if they're alerting somebody who is in charge to stop doing whatever they're doing so they can focus on taking Spewed down. But what were they doing? I think they were filming the investor video. Listen to these alarms. I think you're going to recognize them here as well. Now there are small differences, but for the most part, the alarms are the same, which means that the WKBRL stream was happening on site at Star Park while they were filming the investor video. And to further confirm this, after the first host of the investor video was actually replaced with this guy, we hear a single, this is normal. And that is the same repeated audio clip that we hear on the WKBRL stream right now, which started roughly 10 hours after Brawl Talk was over. This is normal. This is normal. Here's what I think happened. I think that the members of Spewed used the investor video as an opportunity to reach out to the public, not only to warn them of the dangers of Star Park, but also as a message to get help against the Star Park executives. Various people had different responsibilities. These two fun enforcers blinked a message to us while going over their part of the script. Their message, danger. The singing dancers at the beginning and the end of the video learned how to leave a hidden message in their song. Here's what you hear if you play the clip backwards. And I think the host of the investor video had the goal of stalling the Star Park executives long enough to buy enough time for someone to get a very important message out to the world. I'm talking about this man right here in the penguin suit. I think this person is the one who left a 25 minute monologue on the WKBRL stream. Before he started his giant monologue, he kept going in, saying a couple things and then leaving, then coming back and saying a couple things then leaving. And this is one of the things that he said. Here we go. Up to me. I'm talking now. People are watching though. I can't talk for very long. I don't have a lot of time. I gotta get this out. Okay. He said, it's up to me. 
people are watching and I've got to get this out. It's almost as if he's nervous about being found out, like somebody is following him and he only had so much time to say what he needed to, but he was waiting for the right moment to make that happen. Once he was found out, sirens went off to alarm the Star Park executives that Spewed was up to something. Now, why do I think that the Penguin Man was the same person that did the WKBRL monologue? At the beginning of the video, the Penguin guy was doing just fine. I didn't notice any strange behavior at all. I didn't even see him messing up his dance moves. But in this clip, you'll see him getting scolded out by somebody that I think is on Star Park's side. Why was he being scolded if he was dancing just fine? I think he was being scolded because he kept on leaving the set and people didn't know exactly where he was and the Star Park executives realized he was with Spewed and they were trying to get him to rat out on other Spewed members. Eventually, he was able to get away from them, but I think they decided to tail him. He knew he didn't have much time and he had to get onto the WKBRL stream to share as much as he could until he was finally caught. He was able to somehow buy enough time for the 25 minute monologue, but eventually they found out where he was, broke in, shut off the alarms, and well, the rest is history. I'm not sure if he was killed or he was brainwashed so much that he couldn't stand up, but at the end of the investor video, he was found lying motionless on the ground. Once the alarm started going off, the host of the investor video knew that he did not have very much time, so he left us with one very important message before he was replaced entirely by somebody else and probably also went through similar brainwashing that happened to the man in the penguin suit. If you reverse the following clip, here's what you hear. In the future, the Children control us, we fight the glowing rectangle. In the future, children control us with the glowing rectangles. What are the glowing rectangles? Smartphones and tablets. Who are the children? That's you and me the players of Brawl Stars. You see, in my last Brawl Theory video, I claim that Supercell is using Brawl Stars players like you and me in an effort to create and control super humans and robots to take over the world. In all honesty, it sounded pretty crazy when I said it. And even though all of the evidence suggested that this is exactly what could be happening, even I thought it was crazy. <laughs> but now I am confident because we have concrete evidence that supports this theory. At the beginning of the investor video, we saw this logo with the name Cho Kyose Star Corporation, which translates into Super Giant Star Corporation. Now, it's referring to Super Giant Stars, which are the most massive stars in the universe and contain an insane amount of energy. You know what else contains energy? A cell from a battery. Super Giant, Super Cell. Coincidence? I don't think so. In my last Brawl Theory video, I provided a lot of evidence that suggested that Mr. P was the source of evil at Star Park. So who is Mr. P? Well, Lex got a postcard signed by the general manager of the Snowtel and his name was was Corbin Pelto, but I don't think that's actually Mr. P's real name. After all, why would somebody at the head of an evil organization so willingly share his name? If you rearrange the letters in Corbin Pelto, you actually get Hotel P Bicorn. What does Bicorn mean? Two horns. Who has two horns? The devil. The devil represents the source of all evil. So who is the source of evil at Star Park? Mr. P. But what is Mr. P's real name? Mr. Pananen. CEO and co-founder of Supercell. I believe there is a battle going on behind the scenes at Supercell, a battle between Star Park Corporation and the members of Spewed. The goal of the Star Park Corporation is to find out which employees are members of Spewed so they can brainwash them or just take them out. Spewed's goal is to tell everyone Supercell's evil plan without actually revealing who they are while also trying to figure out who is trustworthy. How has Spewed stayed safe all this time? By being very careful when they explain things. I don't think that it's a coincidence that one of the first things the investor video host tells us is the time to explain is now. And in this animation, when Colt asks Shelly, what's going on here? She says, no time to explain. And when he asks Poco, what is this place? Poco says, oh, Ed, if you stop to explain. Goner. I don't think that that was just a joke. I think that was a warning specifically to all Spewed members that if you're not careful, you're in big trouble. So what exactly is Supercell's evil plan? Why are so many people risking their lives and their sanity to tell us the truth? I think I know exactly what their plan is and I'm going to tell you. But first, I need to prepare by following the advice given specifically by Spewed in the description of the investment video. Before I reveal Supercell's evil plan, I need to consult my financial advisor legal counselor, and most importantly, my funeral director. Because their plan is so evil, so sinister, so diabolical, that even though I am risking my life, it will be worth it just to share the truth with you. 
But hey, that's just a theory, a brawl theory. Thanks for watching. K A I R O S Kukas in the Brawl Star Shop.